Hello and what is up everybody, uh, Mr. Acrylic here, back in Age of Engineering. I know, right? I know. Well, I've derped a few things here lately, and that's fine. That's fine. Let's get that mic just a little bit closer. That feels a little bit better, uh, getting that going. So, anyways, we are back here in the world. We got lots of cool and fun stuff to do, because there's so much fun stuff to do, but... I was analyzing a few circuits and getting things prepared for the video when magic, fantastic stuff happened. This happened. Are you ready for this? Analyzing chamber. We got a beacon. We got a beacon. How sweet is that? That is awesome. So we got a beacon. Now we can analyze that guy. That guy's analyzed. All right. Good, good, good. And we can analyze this guy. Excellent, excellent. Uh, we can get this guy and do some uh, damage modifications and whatnot. Uh, so there is some pretty good advantage overall to getting some of this stuff going. A beacon is huge. A beacon is massive. We can do things with a beacon. We definitely can do things. So I'm pretty stoked. I'm pretty darn excited that we got an awesome rare drop like that. Now, if I remember correctly, the actual chance to drop this is, yeah, 1.01%. <laughs> I'll take it. I will take it like a boss. All right? Because, yeah, Nether Star. Simple as that. All right. Anyways, other than that, we need to progress on. We need to advance. I want to get Ender IO up and running. I at least want to get started on it. Um, the main reason being is there's so much that needs to be done at all times um, in this mod pack. All right. So we have the carpenter. We have the thermionic fabricator. We have the squeezer with seed oil. And we also have the centrifuge now. I did build that guy, and I did harvest up some cones so that we could get some honey drops so that we can bealize our bees, which we'll probably do in a little bit after we get some Ender I.O. up and running. So, first of all, we need this in here. This guy is used for the machine casing recipe, along with an iron casing, some bars, and the basic capacitor. So the basic capacitor is the one that I want to work on here first in the whole grand scheme of everything. So let's look at that. This guy requires a copper electron tube, some empowered redstonia, and enriched gold nuggets. And then the copper electron tubes are in a thermionic fabricator, okay? And it is the one with the thickened glass, all right? And redstone ingots and copper. So thickened glass is basically sandy glass, which, if I'm not mistaken, is this right here. Boom. We'll get a couple stacks of that because we'll probably end up using a lot of it. Um, if every electron tube requires thickened glass, which I'm pretty sure that is the case, uh, we might as well get some of this and start going. All right? If that makes sense to you all, I 100% agree. Thickened glass is actually a wonderful resource as well. I will say that. Um, so that's really cool too. Hopefully you guys saw the announcement video. You know, the one that I didn't derp. Um, stable. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, hopefully you guys saw the video. And I look forward to seeing you on there. It it was a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. What? What? Okay, we'll just put that in there, right? This, boom, right? Okay, and thickened glass. Do we have to have put thickened glass? Okay, missing liquid resource. What? It requires glass. Does it actually require like thickened glass in there? What? Missing liquid resource. More liquid resources required to make it. Yeah, I know. But why isn't it taking my glass? Hello? Hello? Game? Game? 
What's going on here? Because it's using up a lot of RF here. Um, okay. I'm really confused. What is going on? Uh, that is a little concerning. I'm not going to lie. Uh, okay. Let me figure this out. All right. So I figured it out. I didn't do all the things that I had to yet. Simple as that. Um, apparently it requires enriched glass to make this. Um, I didn't really notice that requirement, so that's okay. Uh, we'll, f we'll get it though. So we need some enriched glass to get this process. All right. Well, you know, it's one of those things, I guess. What can you do, right? Uh, let's go with this. Let's get a little bit of sand here. Uh, just need a few pieces to get going. And then at least we can start, right? There we go. And four. Excellent. So I'm pretty sure it's this with this. Enrich sand. Okay. And then we smelt that. Now we get clear glass. See, I thought that was the same. I just looked at the texture. So don't get confused. They are different. So keep that in mind. Um, we don't want to have issues there. Okay. So hopefully this works. Hopefully. Um, clear glass. Go. Excellent. Okay. So that should be heating up. And boom. Now we should get the electron tubes. Good. Excellent. All right. Let's just get a few of them. Uh, I mean, if we're going to be using these in pretty much everything for machine frames, we'll probably need them anyways, right? Just saying. Okay, so now these guys, let's take a quick look. Machine chassis. Boop, boop, boop. This guy, just regular crafting. Okay, perfect. Let's do that up. Basic capacitor. Get. Awesome. Our first basic capacitor. How sweet is that? So we'll put in those two items. We'll put in our iron bars. We'll get that ready to go. We do need, what is it, one bucket of seed oil. So let's get that started. I still need to install um, most tweaks to this, but that's okay. And the last but not least is the iron casing. Iron casing is an advanced machine block or immense machine casing. So it does require a little bit of work on our end. Steel plates, not bad. Basic is the eight iron, the carbon, etc. Okay, so I'm gonna get the iron casing here because we've already done this a hundreds of times. By the way, in case you didn't notice, I did bring down all my resources finally. How sweet is that? Uh, what do we need? We need 16. I think we need 16 of those. And then of course we're going to need the advanced alloys, which require uh, this, mixed metal ingots, iron, bronze, and tin. Okay, a little bit of tin. Uh, we'll make a little bit of each. What is this, is this our bronze? Yep, okay, good, tin, bronze, and iron. Awesome, okay, I'll make these, and hopefully we will make our first machine chassis. All righty, final few pieces. Let's go and let's make our advanced machine. Got the carbon plates and the advanced alloys. Beautiful. Advanced machine casing. Now this guy, of course, becomes an iron casing with some black quartz and some iron. So we'll just head on upstairs and get that done. Oh, all the food. All the food. All right. Boom. One, two, three, four. And what was the other thing? Black quartz, right? One, two, three, four. All right. Boom. And boom, iron casing, get. All right, let's get ourselves our first machine chassis from Ender.io. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. As I have more coffee. Oh, it's so good. There we go. We got her. It's coming. We did it. We did it, Reddit. We did it. All right, those are fine. Awesome. Boom. Boom. Drop and pick up. Age five, ender age hype. Let's go put our trophy down and let's be super duper excited. Super excited. Super excited. Uh, this does open up a pretty large avenue of things that we can do. Oh, look at that. The trophy room is becoming quite nice. The trophy slash bedroom room. 
Um, so I think the first item that I want to build with this, because we're going to need to make more of these, obviously. But I think the first thing that I want to get is the alloy smelter, right? It's kind of the prototypical go-to for this whole setup. Rejoice indeed. <laughs> um, and not to mention we need alloys and stuff for some of the piping and all that kind of stuff. I don't conduits. Let's just take a quick look. See, so item conduits. Yeah, so we'll need pulsating iron for one. I guess we could have made it that way, right? Could we have done it that way? No, I don't think so, right? Yeah, no, okay. Woo, got me a little nervous there. Um, pulsating, obviously, is one of them. The energy is conductive iron, etc., right? So, basically, what we need is the alloy smelter. That is my determination. So, we need seven plus what? Another, uh, another four, I think it is. Alloy smelter. Let's just take a quick glance there. Four and seven. Exactly. And then, of course, some beautiful, beautiful furnaces. All right. So we'll do the cauldron. We'll set this guy up like so. And let's get a few furnaces. Oh, the air conditioning just kicked in. So good. I love it when the AC kicks in while you're playing games. Is there a better feeling? I don't know if there is. I don't know if there is, to be honest. All right, let's get the furnace going. And yes, I live in Canada, and yes, I have AC. All right, alloy smelter. Get. Sweet. Now, I don't know. Oh, I do have a wire connector. Awesome. Okay, so we can actually hook this up as well. Now, I do want to have pretty much all of my stuff for this over here, uh, which we don't really have a wire set up for it yet. Um, so let's quickly do a little wire setup here. So we have everything on the wood, so I'm going to just throw that guy down there. Let's get a relay. Awesome. I have them. And another cable. Just so that we could do this up a little bit more proper. So if we put the relay there in the corner, we will attach it to our output like that. Oh, can't do that. I can't do that. I can't do that. Um, connection is obstructed. By what? By that? All right. All right. I see how it is. We're going to need another relay. It's fine. We'll just do it upright. Let's do it up proper now instead of later so we'll do that good so that'll go we will disconnect that one good good okay we'll go like that we'll go boom to boom we'll go boom to boom no disconnect that we'll go boom to boom right that'll get us power everywhere and then we'll go like this connect that up then we'll go like this connect that up and then we'll go like this and connect that up. At least for now. We got to get some power over here, right? That's the start of it. That's the start. Now we can, of course, do other things like all of the goodies, right? We can show all the recipes basically that we can do. There's 400 and whatever of them. But let's look at some conduits. I want to get away from all of the LV wires and all that type of stuff. Oh, pardon me. Sorry. The nose is still running. I'm still a little under the weather, and that's fine. All right. How do we get this? Binder composite. We need CF powder. CF powder is stone, sand, and clay. Okay, that's easy. Wood pulp. Oh, no. We needed a sag mill first. Oh, no. We're fine. We can use the carpenter. Woo, close one. Okay. All right, so we can use this to make that. Good. So if we make some pulp out of this, there we go, wood pulp. Awesome. Okay, so we got wood pulp. That's good. I will get uh, three more blocks. I don't want to leave uh, stuff lingering if we don't have to, right? Why would we? Why would we leave stuff lingering? Okay, let's get three more. One, two, three. Good. 
and get the wood pulp, the pulpiest of the woods. Okay, so that's good. At least we didn't need the sag mill. I thought for a second there that we kind of made a mistake and that I'd have to go do a whole bunch of work off camera, but I think we're okay with this. So we have the wood pulp. Good. Uh, now we need to get gravel and then the CF powder, which is sand and clay. Okay. And all this stone, small stone. I think we can use this as well, right? Yeah. Okay. Perfect. You know what? Let's do this. This is, table is now designated binder composite table. Simple as that. Boom, boom. Let's do it. There's no better way to do that. That's CF powder. That's our CF powder room now. Okay. We'll take down all of our clay. I'm going to have to get more clay. Won't I? I'm going to have to. It's amazing. We seem to run out of it pretty quick. All right. CF powder. Sweet. Now, I would like to get another crafting table down here. Uh, maybe we'll put one right here. Just like this and like this. Good. Now we have our conduit binder, the binder composite, right? So we will do our wood pulp accordingly. We will get some CF powder, four of them, for example, to match. And of course, we need some gravel. Do I even have gravel? Like, really? Do I? <laughs> I've probably gotten rid of it all. Um, oh, no, we're good. We got a stack. Awesome. That is more than enough to at least get us started. All right. Let's head on back and let's get this thing done. Boop, boop, boop. There we go. Binder composite. Now, of course, you do get a decent amount of this stuff per craft. You do get eight of them. So that's very good. Um, the other thing. Oh, you know what? You know what? I might have. I might have a capacitor upstairs. I might have. A capacitor. Can I go all through this backwards without using my mouse hand? Hmm? Maybe? Maybe? I'm using a Kleenex with my mouse hand at the moment. Because my nose is running. Okay. Um, I think I have one. Okay. Increases energy storage, speed, and range. Nice hot capacitor dud. Okay. Good crushed enhanced capacitor. So I'm assuming that that one works better in the sag mill, and this one's going to work better in the smelter because it's hot and all that kind of stuff, right? That's usually There's usually clues with these capacitors, but we found these in villages and dungeons and all that type of stuff early on in the world. So let's try to put it to use. So right now we're at 20 RF per tick with 100,000. If I put in that, nothing. Really? Nothing? Huh? You're supposed to do something, aren't you? Okay. Well, let's just go to furnace mode and let's cook up this 64 binder composite. So, of course, the alloy smelter does work as a furnace as well. So, keep that in mind. Very, very useful stuff. But, uh, yeah. Here we go. Let's go. Binder composite. The next thing that we're going to need is some conductive iron, uh, which is some redstone and some iron. That will get us some of our first little cables. Outside of that, we're going to look at item conduits here right away because of their usefulness uh, with what we need. We need a lot of things to go from our mob farm, for example, into here, right? So we're going to need ender pearls. Let's do two, and I think it's iron, so another two iron. So that should get us a decent amount of cabling. Uh, the other nice thing is we can do like fluid conduits and stuff like that now too. Uh, these guys here, quite clear glass, which I guess we could have done beforehand. That seems wrong, but that's fine. It's fine. No big deal. We are perfectly good. Overall, very good things. Uh, this is just finishing cooking. It's taking its sweet time because this upgrade didn't do anything. Capacitor of holding. I don't get it. Are these disabled in the pack? Maybe? I thought that this was this upgrade. Eh. Oh, well. You know, you learn something new. You, you figure it all out. I'm going to go quickly blow my nose because this thing is driving me bonkers. 
All right. Nose is clear, <laughs> for the most part, anyways. Uh, but I did get the conductive iron, so let's do that up quick. So the conductive iron with the conduit binders is going to give us energy conduits. Very nice. And I'm just making up some pulsating iron. And what this is going to allow us to do is basically replace all of what we have around here with RF power and manipulation. It's just gonna be cleaner for the most part, all right? And then the pulsating we turn into nuggets, which gives us item conduits. Item conduits are, of course, going to be pretty much everything that we need of them. So as much as I just cleaned up all this relay and such, well, guess what? <laughs> I'm breaking it all. I'm breaking it all, okay? So we're cleaning things up and we are also improving them at the same time. So as you can see, we did power back up again, so that's great. Uh, they are working, no concerns whatsoever. 48 energy, I'm a big fan. Now, I don't know if I'll have enough to go all the way across here, but we'll have enough to at least get started. I might need to make more... <clears throat> well, I know I'll need to make more energy conduits. Uh, that doesn't really need to be attached, does it? That's okay. We will let it be attached for now. And we'll go like that. Okay. <clears throat> so that's all of those hooked up. Again. Uh, that's powering up. Uh, disabled. Okay. Good enough. All right, uh, we'll just break it quickly <clears throat> and replace it. No, oh, it keeps its power. Never mind. So I'm not sure about the capacitor. The capacitor doesn't seem to be helping us at all, but we do have now power output via conduit instead of <clears throat> through here, through our lines. Now, I'll leave this one here for now. I think it looks cool against the wood anyways, but this will allow us to ultimately compact our situation dramatically. The other thing too with the item conduits now, we can actually set this to be an insert and an extract, uh, always active, right? And what should extract is any circuits that get completed, okay? So if we get, say, some cobble, just as an example, and we put these in the extraction chamber, what should happen is because we hit these with a wrench and they are red pattern, that's what will get extracted and automatically placed into the reassembly chamber. Now we can put this guy down as well, and we can put this to insert and this to extract. So what's going to happen is they'll come in here and they will automatically start to get processed in the reassembly chamber and then automatically get analyzed make sense good 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 outside of that we do have a bit of a situation where now we need to move them from the analytics here or the analysis chamber into the other chambers that we have available so i'm going to store some of this stuff away for right now and i need to get our wrench there we go pa wrench that's the guy and i want to set that to output yeah there we go okay good so that's going to now extract and insert any circuits that we have and items for that matter right i think is that what it's going to do i guess we'll find out won't we because sometimes they stay in there don't they i think they do stay in there hmm we'll have to play it by ear we'll have to see once we get one what happens right but these guys are staying nice and powered up we have no concerns over there and then we'll also have to set up a configurable route for the restoration chamber and equally i have to make sure that we harvest all of these and get a few more energy conduits overall just to complete this whole chain right okay good so ender io we've started the revolution. We are in the revolution now of at least starting in this whole adventure down Ender IO. Um, it's a big, beautiful world. Let's leave it that way. And I don't want to go too crazy. We still want to go... I want to focus still on IC2 quite a bit uh, for our systems and everything. But we can use Ender IO as well to improve a lot of the things around the base. 
And one of those things is definitely, while this is going, we are going to go see about running item conduits from the chest in our bedroom to right there. Okay? So this guy is going to be like so. I might hide it in that eventually, uh, but not just quite yet. Okay? This is going to be an insert like so. Good. Now, where are we? We are at 280... 1252. 280, 1252. Um, I'm kind of debating which way is the better way to go here. I don't know how high my ceiling is going to be. And I know we have the mob farm pretty close by here. So I think I'm just going to run along the top of our cabinets. Just like so. And run it up top. Just up one level so that when we do replace it or replace the roof... We can take advantage of that. So 12.52 is where we're running this thing. Which is basically right towards this wall. Okay. So if we go and break right into here. Right into here. I said right into here. I said right into here. Thank you. And we head on over to... Which one was it? 52, right? What? Oh, it might be lower. There it is. There it is. Okay, good. Good, good, good. So, we have it to right there. So, if we come just vertical right now. Good. And then we'll need to run it around... Put it on the back side. So that's diamond spike. That's nothing. Really? So if we do that, that's going to be always active on the extract route. We will have to get a painting machine, I've decided. Um, this is a bit of a situation. This is a bit of a problem. I thought I had more spikes. I guess I spaced them out. But that is going to pose a bit of a situation. So, if we go down here, what do we get? Um, that's not too bad, is it? What's under here? Okay. Okay. So, that's our spider catcher. Let's just do this. Why do I have this all blanked out like this? There's a... Nothing scary about that. It's fine, everybody. It's fine. Okay. Like so. Right? Woo wee And then we'll go down one more, and then we'll go across. And then we will complete this with a cobble. <coughs> right like that. And then all we'll do is we'll run this straight across until we can meet up with the other one. Like that. Good. And of course, we'll fill in the gaps. Okay. So we are at 1276 here with this. Uh, we'll do fill in that quickly and, of course, recomplete that. There will be the hole there, which is going to be letting in light at the moment until we get a conduit facade. Okay. So 1276 is actually over a little bit, isn't it? I think so. So that's... 75, 76. So if we go this way, we may run directly into our thing. Awesome. Okay. All right. We can do this. Yeah, that's way better. That's way cleaner. Okay. So we'll do this like so. <coughs> Very nice. Okay. Good. Good, good, good. Now, of course, we'll clean all this up or fill it all in. <clears throat> we don't want too much light going around. And then we'll remove all of this because we no longer require it. And we'll pick it up. All right. So that's our line. We are going into where we need to go. Sweet. <coughs> Pardon me. I am still a little sick. Not going to lie. All right, so we are extracting everything we can. 
pretty much. So we can actually use this as a dump chest as well. We can dump things in here like glass, alabaster, you know, some of this type of stuff as well. So as we get back to our base, we can just kind of dump stuff and let it go. Now that's going to be a bit of a situation overall, but it doesn't seem to be too bad. We will let the mobs come in and what should happen is everything's getting exported almost automatically. Now all the things that can't get exported will obviously stay in this chest, right? So we do have that happening as well where we are in the process. Everything here should be filling up with bones and gunpowder and things like rotten flesh. 357, 312, everything's working as intended. Excellent. Now, the next big issue that we have, we definitely need to get some upgrades here going. And we are pretty much at uh, the wrapping up point. So, I need some drawer upgrades which I'm pretty sure is obsidian into iron. That might be the easiest way to go right now. One, two, three, four. Okay. We're going to need the upgrades themselves, which is going to require a little bit of wood. Excellent. Good. Okay. And we're going to need a drawer. Do we have any? Ah, awesome. Okay, good. So let's do this. And let's do... Is that it? No, that's not it. Good. Uh, get this quickly. Oh man, we're getting so many mobs right now. So many mobs. Scary. Okay, upgrades. Awesome. Sticks. Sticks. Obsidian for the first one. And then it's iron to upgrade it from there. I feel that the obsidian upgrade really is not worth it. We should probably just go up a few levels. Uh, because this is going to fill up very quickly. This guy can be upgraded to gold quite easily. So let's do that as well. We do have a decent amount of gold. So let's do that quickly. Boom. To gold. Awesome. Now we're going to have to make another one of these, of course. Uh, but that should now allow us to fill up the string. And all of that loot past where we need it to go. Let's just take a look at our chest. All right. Next problem is going to be dealing with a filter to get rid of all of this stuff. But that's going to take a little bit of time. For now, everybody, I hope you enjoyed the episode. We got into age five. We started using some Ender IO and started moving things around a little bit with our mobs and everything. So hopefully you enjoyed it. And I'll catch you next time. Make sure you leave a like, subscribe, all of that kind of stuff as we progress forward on our adventures here. Thank you, and have a good one. Boom, and boom. Nailed it.